Okay, this is possibly our, or this is our first of possibly two nights here in Shenandoah. We're in Big Meadows. We're in 158D, D loop. We intend to do some hiking today. It's pretty cold. I'd say it's somewhere around 60 right now. Got down to about 55 last night. We had the heater going, but it was nice and comfortable in the scamp. Okay, here we are, we think, maybe halfway up Old Rag in Shenandoah National Park. Um, it's not a bad hike. It's, it's uphill most of the way or all the way. Um, I want to take a little break because I think the next section is all uphill. Let me show you around a little bit. If you can hear me, here we are at the top of Old Rag Mountain. morning. So yesterday we did Old Rag, uh, Old Rag Mountain Trail. It's about an eight mile trail. Um, we're both very exhausted. The first part of the trail is not so bad. It's just mildly strenuous. And then you get to a little sign that says no camping beyond this point. And this is on the short trail, the short way, which is 2.7 miles. Um, so beyond that point, there's a little bit of a climb, just very mild. And then you get to a vista. And you can see everything. You can see the whole, you know, whole valley and everything. It's really kind of nice. And then um, Jill's walking up the trail a little bit to see what was up there. And she said, oh, it's like an obstacle course up there. Okay, so we went on. And the problem with that obstacle course is it just never stops. And it just goes on and on and on. It's really quite strenuous. And there's some kind of scariest parts as you're going through there if you're scared of heights. And once you go through that way, you, do, you really don't want to come back that way. So it must have been about an hour of scrambling rocks and climbing and things like that and going through tight spaces. And then once we got about halfway through, we couldn't turn around because we didn't want to go back that way. So we, uh, we went all the way to the top, top of the, uh, the uh, trail. And then we came back the five mile hike back, which is not, you know, you don't have to scramble rocks and things like that. But it's really quite a long hike. And uh, our legs felt like they were gonna fall off on the way back. Now, I think this is probably the most strenuous hike we've ever done. And we've done some decent hikes. We've done Angel's Landing in uh, Zion National Park and Observation Point in Zion National Park and various other hikes. Um, but we definitely think this is, this is the one, this is the hardest one for us. And our legs are really quite sore today. Now this is not a hike I personally would wanna do again. 
Um, if we had just gone to the to the first part, like I discussed, the first vista and then back, it would have been fine. Um, but I would not want to go all the way to the top again. That's just my personal experience. Now, if you don't want to scramble rocks and things and climbs, you can take the long loop up, which is the five mile loop up, and it won't be near as hard as the 2.7 mile loop. And uh, they're both available right from the, the, the reserve parking lot up there. It's a stone parking lot. So have fun and be careful. Make sure you bring enough water because we actually didn't quite bring enough once again.